this is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is the Honda Civic. I found the place to install the cell. The cell that I have put in there is a 16 plate system. The plates are three by eight spaced an eighth of an inch or three millimeters apart. As you can see, it fits in there really nice. The actual tube is 12 inches high, and then we have a half inch top and a half inch bottom that are compressing two seals between them. I cannot believe I found this space in there. You can see this cell with the, the new ports on it. It just fits in there just great. There's some of the wiring that I've completed. You'll see a better picture of it later. The air filter housing has been taken off, exposing the air filter there. You can see that box right there, that uh, some kind of resonator that uh, I really don't know what it does, but I know from what I understand there's nothing in it. And there's the filter installed. It goes in front of the cell. You can see the uh, patch on top of that air filter there. It's one of my holes in it. Again, that's my wiring there. That's going to be a positive wire. There's where it goes through the cab. The positive wire is going directly to the secondary fuse box, I call it, under the hood. This cell first is going to be installed as a booster. There's a good picture of the cab that's got two buttons, the red button there and the switch button to the right of it. One of those will deliver power to a relay that it's going to deliver power to the cell. And one of those is going to deliver water to the cell. I haven't decided just yet whether I'm going to have automatic water fill or not. There's a secondary fuse box. You can see my lead there, the red lead going in, and that's where I pick up the plus side of the battery. I used to do that at the battery. I found this arrangement here that actually goes directly into the positive side of the battery that's going to work just fine. It makes a cleaner installation. Remember the car chassis is negative. A couple of things I have to install here. There's a good picture of the space that I'm putting the cell in. You can see that shelf that sits right there. I didn't put that there. It just happens to be there. There's one other item, 12 o'clock high, that sits on it. I'll probably put some kind of insulator there to keep the vibrations away from the cell. 
and there's the 12 volt supply. A couple of the things I'm going to have to put on here is an amp meter and a voltmeter. I'm going to have two voltmeters, one across the battery and one across the cell. This is a picture of the other car that I had a cell installed in and there's a good shot of the amp meter and the voltmeter and there's an interesting device that measures the total hours in use which I'm going to be installing that in. So I'll pull this out of the old car and put it in the new car. There's two buttons there. This is on the old car and I'll be pulling this out and putting it on the new car as well. There's a good shot of the cell. Again, it's 12 inches high and it fits right in there real nice. You can see the water port on the left there. It's strictly going to be used for a drain. And we have started. And there we